for this demo, we're going to create our first web page. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new website in Visual Studio 2010. Go to File, New Website, and we're going to select Visual C Sharp as our default language. And we're going to choose the ASP.NET Empty Website and select OK. You'll see in our Solution Explorer on the right-hand side, we have an empty project or an empty website currently. The web config contains the configuration that is used to run this application or this website. And we're going to go ahead and select in our Solution Explorer, right-click, and add a new item. You'll see a list of various items that we can add to our page and what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new Visual C Sharp web form and select Add. Okay, by default you'll see your source view and what we want to do is go ahead and start designing our web page. So we're going to go to the design mode in the bottom left hand corner which will give us a graphical representation of the pages that will display, be displayed in the web browser. We're also going to want to open up our toolbox that we see on the left hand side and for demonstration purposes I'm going to go over here and pin my toolbox so that it stays active and you actually see various objects that you can use within your web page. And What we're going to do is go ahead and create two things. We're going to create a text box and a button. So we're going to go down to text box, select it, holding the left mouse button, and drag it onto our default.aspx design view. Next, we're going to go find our button in our toolbox. Again, left click and drag to our default.aspx design view and drop. Okay. Now we're going to do uh, some basic customizations. We're going to actually change our button text. Okay, there's two ways to do this. One, we can view our properties window on the bottom right hand corner. And you actually see all the properties for that button, including the text that is currently displayed on that button. And you can also right click and select properties to make sure that that is the, inf the button in question on the right hand side. And we're going to change this to submit information. Hit enter or tab. You'll see that the button is automatically expanded and displays the new text for that button. Let's go ahead again and hit F5, control F5 or the green arrow. Remember again, if you hit the green arrow or F5, you will be presented with a warning letting you know that your web config is not set to debug. Very simply click OK. And you'll see your new page, including your submit information button.